Hey friends, I am Jason Salyer, welcome back. And I like to sleep in a hammock when it's summertime. When the weather is warm, I prefer to be in a hammock. It keeps me up off of the ground, the wet ground. It keeps me away from the chiggers and the ticks and that kind of thing. Um, and fortunately, where I live, man, there are trees everywhere. Good sized trees like, like this poplar here and this poplar here. They're a perfect distance apart to string my hammock up or this one to that one or this one to that one it doesn't really matter i have so many options almost everywhere that i live but what if you have planned on sleeping in a hammock and there's big trees everywhere you've been hiking all day long on the trail and you get to a spot that's right by the creek and it's perfect but you just can't find any large trees that are capable of supporting your weight what would you do um and that's what we're going to be experimenting with today. Let's see if we can figure out how to string a hammock up with some small sapling type trees. Um, and then stick around at the end of the video. I'm also going to show you how to string up your hammock and set up your hammock um, when there are absolutely zero trees on open ground. So stick around for that. And hit the thumbs up, by the way, if you like these kind of videos. Do that now before we get going. So it took some searching, but I finally found a location that's not good for hanging hammocks. <laughs> it's, there's just, you can hang your hammock every, everywhere around here, but this little flimsy guy here that's growing all crooked out of the ground would surely not support your weight if you tried to attach uh, one end of your hammock to it. So this is a brand new hammock from Five Star Gear that I'm trying out. Never had it strung up before, so we'll see how it goes, but it's super lightweight. Comes with everything that you need to rig it up. And it's less than 40 bucks, so it's a pretty solid deal if it's, if it's a durable piece of kit. So this is typically how I would set up my hammock if I was doing it between two big trees, maybe even a little bit more swag than this. But um, as you can see, if I try to do it to these little bitty saplings, it's just not going to get the job done. I can do one of two things. I can tie off to other small saplings in line with my hammock. I can tie them off at, at angles, at kind of maybe 45 degree angles-ish. Um, or if there's another, if there's a bigger tree, within reach, it just wasn't in the right location, I can tie off to that, and I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'm gonna tie a bowline knot in here in the paracord because a bowline is, is a fantastic knot um, that allows you to not only put a lot of strain on it, but it's easy to untie after it's been loaded. So I'm gonna put a bowline knot in there. Maybe I should show that in more detail. Let's do that, keep rolling. So. In more detail, this is how I tie a bowline knot. Bowline, bowline, someone's gonna get upset with me for mispronouncing the word, but, but what I do is I go around my tree and then in the long end of my line, I make a loop just like that. And then I take this portion of the line that's closest to the tree and I stick it partially through that loop, just very loosely. Then I'll take my tag end here, straight through, nice and loose, and then I'll gently pull on the line. And what's important here is that it kind of flops over and that goes through. You can see it kind of flop over. And that is a bowline knot right there. Now I understand paracord is gonna stretch. That's a thing. That's a thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this, um, my hammock much tighter to start with than I, um, than I normally would. Normally you want some swag in your hammock. You don't want it really, really tight. But in this situation, since I know my paracord is gonna stretch, you could use a different kind of cords that probably wouldn't as much, but this is what I've got and this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna tie a trucker's hitch in this. So what I'm gonna do is in this line that's running to the tree that I just tied off to, I'm going to put myself a loop, just like I did for the bowline knot. I'm gonna put myself a loop and then on the end going to the tree that I'm securing to now, I'm going to run the end through. I'm gonna run the line through like this. I'm gonna put a bite in it like that. And it's gonna give me a loop that looks like this. And it's basically a slip, slip knot, a slip loop. And it's important that you do this from this side, 
not from that side because if you do it from that side it'll tighten up on itself and you will never be able to get it undone so do it from this side right here that i'm tying the tying to the tree put my loop in the line just like that and then i take the rest of my paracord run it through that loop that i've created And I can cinch down on this baby really hard. And if you look over there at the hammock and see what's happening to it as I pull on this. You can see that getting really tight. And this is tight as a banjo string right there. But I'll just pinch the line right here, wherever I, I've used as, as the kind of my, my leverage point, my pulley point, I'll pinch that line right there it's amazing how much tension you can hold on a line just by pinching it. I mean, I can really crank on that thing. Pinch right here. I take my tag end, or maybe they call that the running end. Not good with terminology. I go over top of the line, and then I pull it through into a half hitch loop here. And if I want to get that undone, it's as easy, it's as easy as just pulling on it untying it and the whole thing will come out very simply so lots of tension pinch over loop and that ain't going nowhere this clump of saplings seems pretty secure in the ground I'm gonna do a trucker's hitch here I'm gonna put some weight on that one. Got it. So let's see what that does. So that's got us a few inches. What slipped? <laughs> what slipped? You peeled off the. Oh, wow. Look at that. It stripped off the bark off of my, my tree. Just the cordage ran up it and stripped it completely clean. It's crazy. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this a little more vertically, like so. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Not to hold us up. About to find out. We're really gonna put some pressure on this five-star gear hammock. If it holds up to this tightness, then we know it's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. How much space we got? A lot. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's about what I'd normally be anyway. So with a little bit of finagling, you can make it work. You can get your hammock strung up even with really small little saplings. You just gotta kinda mess around with it a little bit. So that's the beauty of these bowling knots is that you could put a tremendous amount of load on this paracord. I mean, that was hundreds of pounds probably of, of force when I got on this, on this uh, hammock. But I can break that knot over, break the bottom of the knot right there, and it all comes free. And that is why the bowling knot is the go-to for a lot of different applications. So I also promised you that I would show you how to set up a hammock. It takes a little bit more practice, a little bit more training. How to set up a hammock um, if you've got no trees, if you're in open ground, let's say like a desert situation or a big open field, prairie, what, what have you. Um, this five-star gear hammock is pretty awesome because it comes in this nice stuff sack, as many of them do. Basically what you do is you tighten it up like that and you find yourself a nice flat piece of ground and then to set up your hammock, you, you put it on the ground like that and then you just lay down and put your head on it and then your camp is pretty much set up thanks for watching guys see you next time